was your boyfriend. You're just rocking out to Justin Bieber. So now uh, give you a little exercise just to wire this up and make it work. And so this is nice. I'm going to actually take this exercise and I'm going to drop it in to uh, hands-on right here. And we'll make it, this will be 12. And uh, this will be the solution, which means that we need to have starting files, because I like this exercise that much. We need to have starting files in 11. And 11 is actually uh, hands on. Cool. And if you're wondering where this code is, if you're watching this on the internet, uh, GitHub goes to 11, Golang Web Dev. And uh, you should, of course, follow me on Twitter at Todd McLeod. And you should also send me money. You could PayPal me at Todd McLeod, Todd, Todd McLeod at gmail.com. Just PayPal me cash. That helps. Uh, so now we're going to do um, the solution, the hands on. I'll, I'll put in the README file there, but these will be the starting files. So let's do that one. I'm thinking of it. Starting files. And these all go in there. And so I'll put a little readme in there in a second. Readme.md, medical doctor document. Markdown. Sorry, it's getting <laughs> late. So I want to make this work. So I'm going to do a var tpl is a pointer package template type template. And then I'm going to do func init. And I just typed all that out. You could just do init in your editor probably. And Hit enter and it does it for you. Funk init, and I want my TBL. Oh, it's asking me what kind of a template, and I want HTML. And I want TBLs equal to template.must, and then template.parse glob, and then a pattern. And we're going to do uh, templates, will be my folder, and everything in it, right? Right there. So now we've parsed all of our templates. And then we have func main, and we have a whole bunch of different routes here. And http.handle func is what I want, because I've got a bunch of functions, and they have the response writer and the pointer to the request. And so I'm going to handle that one, and, uh, and then do that, I think, like five times. And uh, the first one is going to go to index, and the next one's going to go to about, the next one's going to go to contact, and the next one's going to go to... That's weird. Uh, <laughs> well, I, because I, now I got to explain. So on Twitter, there's this guy, and I just saw his little post, his profile, and it said, uh, I was a Milton atheist until 9 23, 2016, the day I felt the presence of God, with two S's. And I was like, well, that's really recent. I want to know. I want to know, well, how did you feel the presence of God? That's kind of intriguing to me. I don't even follow this guy. I just saw it, but right? I did. And he said uh, a whole bunch, but it looks like it might be a little private. <laughs> so I'll come back and take a look at that in a minute. Handle and handle funk. Thank you for the kind tweet. Wish there were more people like you. I don't know what I said to you. We'll come back and look at it. <laughs> Index about contact apply. Is it getting close to go home time? It is, yeah. Apply <laughs> process. And so uh, there we go. So I've got that all wired up. Everything's looking good. My errors are a little extra big. I've been extracted out. And uh, there we go. That guy's just going to pop up the whole video. <laughs> Woo! He's not recording. I'm totally recording. This is like good stuff. When you start getting delirious, this is... This is YouTube gold. I have a question. Um, yeah, what's the question? You know how, in, at least it does in WebStorm, over there, the little yellow warning? Yeah, right here. Inside. Right here. Yeah. Um, Unused parameter not, request. Yeah, since you're not using it, can you just do an underscore? Yeah, if you're not, not using it. Or is, there, is there a performance advantage to doing that or not? Is That's probably the correct way to do it because you're not using it. 
But I, uh, I'm no expert, man. But yeah, if you're not using a variable, it's idiomatic not to have it floating around. And, and then if you needed to do it later, you could. So that's that's good. I like that idea. All right, I think that's good. So let's uh, let's run it and see what happens. Uh, change directories zero twenty four. 012, go run main, and I blew something up. Uh, multiple registrations for blank. That's what I forgot to do. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. I thank God for the compiler. Okay, so those. Uh, oh, that. Well, you know, there we go. Um, you know, the nice thing, apply process. Let's see, apply process. I want this to, so this is where it gets a little tricky, because I want this to be, but you could do it that way, but but if you look at the template, apply is going post back to here. So I need to do this so that it, um, it handles the post. And so both of these uh, apply are gonna go to the same one. This guy's, whoa. <laughs> This guy's got, I want to go read that. And so I'm going to do both of them to apply, okay? And pull that out. I don't know if you guys did it this way. And uh, and I'm going to do if, thanks for the suggestion, Jeremy. <laughs> request.url, no, just if request.method is equal to HTTP method post. And that's just a constant, which is post. So it's good to use these, All right? And um, so if it's method post coming in at apply, we're going to run this code, and then we could return. Just we're out of there, right? Because we handled it, and uh, and then we're done. So return returns from that function. Done working in that function. Otherwise, if it's not post, it's going to do this one. It's going to do apply. If it's git, because if it's not post, it's going to be git. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so now, now all I need is apply. And inside apply, we have, if it's post, run this, be done. And otherwise, it's git, which means put the form up to be submitted. So that's the curveball. That's a pretty good curveball. And I like it. So let's clear that out and run it again and see what happens. If I was your boyfriend, do 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 do. Baby, baby, if I was your boyfriend, apply process. So it's all nice, and that's it, man. Those are the bones right there for a website. Now we just gotta learn to store data, which we're gonna see by week fifteen. If I was your boy, so I like that exercise. Do y'all? Yeah. Yeah. So that's it for the YouTube people.